So we see it's an x squared. So we're expecting a parabola, one of these guys. And because of that negative, we're kind of expecting them to be upside down. Um, we note that the vertex is supposed to be 1. And we flip that sign when it's grouped in. And 3. So when we go to make an xy table to sort of flesh this thing out, I want to start by putting in that 1. So I want to get um, negative 2 times 1 minus 1 squared plus 3. So, oh, so negative 2 times 0 squared plus 3. Uh, 0 squared is 0 times negative 2 is 0 plus 3 is 3, so I'm getting the point 1, 3. I want to plug in maybe a 2 and then a 3 later, so just 1, 2, 3. So when I plug in the 2, I'll get plugging in the 2 for the x, so that's negative 2 times 1 squared plus 3. 1 squared is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, plus 3 is negative 1, so I'm getting the point 2, negative 1. If I plug in the 3, I'm getting negative 2 times 3, minus 1 squared plus 3, so that's 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, plus 3, so negative 5. So I'm getting 3, negative 5. So I need to graph all these points. So, just copying the points that I had, they gave me 1, 3, 2, negative 1, 3, negative 5. Now remember, 1, 3 was my vertex, so an axis of symmetry through my vertex. So I have the point 2, two negative 1 down here, and 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, negative 5 down there. I get points on the other side of this axis of symmetry for free. So this point, one away, one away, two away, two away. There's the U upside down that we were expecting. Ta-da! Oh man, that's an ugly U. But that is a U. Yes, clearly it is.